Hello, guess what? We've got something interesting to look at. And uh, I'm really excited about this. This is a new one on me. Um, as, as most of you might know, um, I've been dabbling with alcohol stoves for the first time, okay? It's all new to me, right? And um, it first started with the um, Trangier mess kit that I was kindly gifted to by a good friend of mine, um, Russ, contact rate 07. And I've been using that on and off for over a year now. And um, I love it, I really do. But the only, the only concern I have of it is the Trangier burner I have, the actual army issue one, the big one, it burns very fast, it burns very fierce, and it doesn't take long to empty the whole thing of fuel. So um, I was speaking to a friend of mine, Paul, um, a few weeks ago, and he suggested I put some sort of material in there, like um, a fireproof gauze, okay, to sort of hold the, the um, alcohol in there longer. So anyway, so, as I say, it's all new to me, and this is a big learning curve, sorry Paul, <laughs> and um, alcohol stoves is new to me. And this was kindly sent to me um, by this guy, and I'll tell you what, I've only stumbled across this guy recently. Uh, named Gary and um, all right Gary thanks so much for sending this to me mate um, after seeing a video on it oh, I was just why hasn't everyone got this <laughs> bonkers it's a brilliant bit of kit now um, I haven't read up on it so please forgive me um, if I make any mistakes but this is the stove okay now I think it's a variant of um, a stove which was made by someone else in America um, I'll try and dig some information at it and put it on the screen, but if I can't, please forgive me, okay? Um, I'll stick Gary's contact details under the video, so if you're interested in this, contact him and um, discuss it, okay? So, what he's actually given me was his pouch, and this guy really does know his way around a sewing machine, okay? Um, knows quite a bit about materials, quality stuff, okay? We're... we're um, we're all guilty of buying um, cheap stuff from China and abroad now and again, okay? And um, we all moan when it falls apart. And in most cases, it's the stitching or the material. But, you know, Gary knows his stuff about material, so that's a cool pouch. We've got um, a measuring aid there. As you can see, it's tiny, okay? That is gonna be enough to fill this stove. And uh, let's have a look at the stove. Now you can see by the size of my hand, okay, it just looks some sort of um, a tin or something, which is still in date, <laughs> awesome. Um, it's got some sort of um, fireproof um, fiberglass cord spiralled around the cavity there. And if you look inside, I don't know if you can see that light's bad, you can see at the bottom there the holes, okay. So obviously you pour your alcohol in there, it goes into the holes and it seeps into the cavity, gets absorbed and soaked into this fire cord, and it actually burns around the outside, okay, not through the middle. And obviously your cup's gonna be sat on top, or pot. Uh, you've got a couple of holes here, I'm not really sure what it is, I'm guessing it's for some kind of ventilation to let the vapor breathe, maybe. As I say, it's all new to me, okay? I'm actually discovering it right now, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try this out for the very first time and see exactly what these beautiful little stoves are capable of. And incidentally, it absolutely weighs nothing. It really is so light, you don't even know you're carrying it. All right, so that is a big bonus. So uh, let's go on the bench and have a closer look. Okay, what we've done is we've put this little stove on just um, a piece of reflective material. Just happens to be a BCB um, cooking stove. Um, this is the measuring device. The, um, the other stuff's going to be like, but we're just going to use something nice and common, which everyone has. I'm presuming this is uh, the measure. So we're going to get that as near as we dare to the top of it, it'll go everywhere. And uh, do you know what? I really love the colour of that. It's beautiful, isn't it? So at least be careful. Right. And it says to give that five seconds for that to uh, get into the groove, as it were. While it's doing that, we got some water. Now, I'm not sure how much to do. I've got two uh, measures on there. Uh, 
25 or 50. Do you know what? Let's go for the 50 because that's. Look at that, there's loads of water in there. That's quite a significant um, amount of water for a test. Um, I'm going to put the lid on. And, uh, wow, that's it. It doesn't look like it's soaked up anywhere. In fact, it still loads inside. Uh, we'll just light it, I suppose. Now, where I light it inside or on there, I'm guessing inside. It's uh wow. You probably won't see that. But I'll tell you what, I think I'll turn the lights off and see. Because alcohol stoves have got a really pissy flame, haven't they? Oh. All unedited as you would expect. Wow. Isn't that a beauty? I'm just going to take the mug off. That's stunning, mate. It's burning a clear blue flame all the way around the outside. And I think the contact distance is spot on. Wow. Let's put some light back on the subject, shall we? There we go. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Uh, I'm not going to time it. Oh, what's the time now? Uh, 20.47. I suppose we could time it if people are really interested. I'm not, to be honest. Um, if it seems fast enough, it's good enough for me. I'm not really anal about, oh, it's 20 seconds faster than this stove. It must be better. Well, I don't really care about that because this, this is, a, I don't know, tested under laboratory conditions. Um, you're going to be using this outside in the woods, maybe, where it's going to be windy, damp etc so that's what I've got to say about that put the lights back on sorry if the old um, lighting's going crazy for you people but there it is and uh, I've got some information about it here right I've, I um, forgot about the, the guy who the original design was by someone called Zelf that's Zulu Echo Lima Papa Hotel um, with some updates by Tack Blades made in the UK. Um, a strong steel centre pot stand to accommodate heavy weight pots, thick fiberglass whipping, sorry, wicking to enable long life and ultra fast delivery of fuel to the burner. Almost instant wicking of fuel for fast starting in all temperatures. There you go. Fill with 30 millilitres of fuel, wait 5 seconds, light the wick, put the pot onto the stand, don't forget to use a windshield. Fuel types, any, what's that, denat denatured alcohol, um, meths works fine, B&Q bioethanol is ideal, no older, hot clean burn. So in other words, if you use that bioethanol stuff, it sounds like you don't get any um, sooting or any coloration which is nice um, it, the the stove itself the base is aluminium or aluminum <laughs> depending on what part of the world you're from um, the pot stand itself is steel the wick is fiberglass and the weight is around 46 grams which you would have to agree that's nothing at all okay especially when you're um, you know watching videos of mine when I do military kit where most of it's way too heavy but that that is pretty neat oh that's hot i don't believe that uh, i've said 47 it's been two minutes and 10 seconds and it looks like we've already got is that boiling no way can't be uh, I can't believe that. It's, it's starting to boil. Can you hear it? <laughs> See, this is another thing um, Gary said on an email to me about this. He said, um, you haven't got the roar of a gas burner, you know? It's just quiet. But you can hear the water boiling. That is wicked. 
So, in all intensive purposes, this stove, it hasn't got a smell, it's quiet, it's light, you can get meths and bioethanol pretty much anywhere, it's cheap, it's small. Do you know what? I think we got a winner there. Very impressed. I can't believe that. There we go, it's uh, just coming up to three minutes now. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. Wow. Yeah, three minutes. Blimey, I wish I could stop watching it now. Um, I'm sorry if you're a bit bored or anything. Uh, <laughs> You're just looking at um, a cup of water boil. It's in, in effectively exactly what it is. Blimey, I can't believe. Oh, that little bit of fuel in there. It's just, well, half a litre, 500 millilitres of water, straight out of the tap. And it sounds like it's, yeah, it's boiling now. 47 blimey 4 minutes exactly 4 minutes ex yep it's boiling it's a rolling boil right now can you hear it look at that that's insane can you believe that so, I'm going to have to take it off. And it's still burning. Oh, the only thing is, I can't see how you can snuff it out. But, to be fair, the amount of fuel that has been used, you could easily just let that burn off. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, there's my hand. That's what sort of height we've got with the flame. Incidentally, it's not recommended that you use any stove in a tent, okay? Everyone says do it just outside, do it in the porch, but make sure that there's ventilation and there's nothing that can be knocked over to cause a fire, okay? Because um, not everything is um, made with fireproof material, all right? So it's something to be uh, thinking of. Oh, my God. It's very strange. Yeah, you've got to see this. I don't know if you can see this. I've never seen that before. Where is it? Inside. Oh, I can't, I can't see a thing. It looks like a, a mist. <laughs> I can't get too close because it's going to melt the camera. But it looks like a smoky mist. I've never seen anything like that. My God, I hope it's not fumes in that metal. <laughs> wow. It's like a mystery stove, isn't it? <laughs> Gary, I've never seen anything like it. Um, I don't know if I should blow this out now or just let it take its course but the wick's gone a lovely blue colour it's taken on the meths by the look of things and it looks like it's starting to die down so yeah this is pretty much um, an unedited real test really but no to boil water in just a little over 4 minutes wow dude and it's still burning along uh, we've got now 54 so yeah it's been a while nice <laughs> so there you have it um, incidentally Gary didn't say oh can you do a video on it he just sent it to me as a gift all right so all I'm all I wanted to do was to um, film it for the first time to try and understand how it works um, to learn something from it and to get some input from you guys regarding the comments underneath about um, anything to do with alcohol and alcohol stoves um, what's best to use, um, what sort of temperatures can it burn well down to, um, is it best to preheat your fuel first or is it okay from cold, all of these things I'm, I'm eager to learn okay so if you can whack it on the comments below and um, anyone else who's interested can look at the comments and they're going to learn something too, um, again it's the beauty of YouTube where everyone shares okay, so it looks like it's at its first burn and it's broken in now because the steel's um, discoloured so uh all looking good so yeah mate well happy with that as i said you know alcohol stoves is totally 
totally new to me okay i've never used one of those um coca-cola little stove things with the holes in it um i've only used tranja um stoves and now this uh, that's pretty mint isn't it so um okay what i'll do is if anyone is interested um all i'm going to do is i'm going to put the guy's youtube channel um in the link okay so if you want to contact him just go through the um, SOP, you know, the standard operating procedure. Just go to um, about, uh, go on to send message and do it that way, all right? I'm not, I don't, do you know what? I don't even know how much these are selling for. They're, um, I think he just does it as a hobby to help friends out. I don't think he's going to be thinking of mass producing stuff. But what I do like, and I'm a massive fan of, is he's put the Union Jack on there. As if to say it's made in the UK. That 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 alone excites me. Okay, it's finally gone out. Yep. It smells a bit funny. Maybe it does that on the first time just to burn off any coating or crap on the steel. But um yep, that seems to work a treat. And I think you get all this literature with it. Okay, a little history about um the stove itself. Awesome. Oh, you've got to love stuff like this, all right? Really brilliant. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Gary. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, everyone. Um, it really did boil the water in four minutes, and we're talking half of a litre. All right? No messing. <sighs> Puck it off, mate. Okay. So I'm going to get some um, hot chocolate in there and uh, not waste it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.